I, I am here to try and save the Hawksville turtle. The Hawksville because it is going extinct. It was declared highly endangered since 42 years ago. And they are very scarce. The law of the country still allow people to catch them to eat. And it is in nature very vulnerable. One from 3,000 of the babies will survive. I am trying my best and I am getting 15 from 100 and bringing them up to four or five years to put them back. Now baby turtles eat jellyfish in the ocean. We do not get jellyfish here and I have to feed them with canned tuna fish, which is very costly, you know, and when they become a year and a half, I give them fresh, small bait fish like sardines and anchovies, etc. Now I am here now for 17 years and I have already successfully released 907 back into the sea and because I mark them with a visible mark, fishermen and all the people have seen them in the ocean and I am hoping that this year, before the end of the year, to see some of my toes come back to the beach till the eggs. You know, this is a creature that takes care of the reef. It eats algae from the coral and keeps the coral alive. All sea turtles eat jellyfish to keep down the population of jellyfish from damaging people. And so I'm teaching children these things so they will understand and carry on when I leave. And we can have this product in the ocean for tourism. And what happens if the, uh, there's no turtles to eat the algae to, uh, on the coral? What happens to the coral? If, if, if the turtles eat the algae, the coral will be healthy and stay alive and that living coral encourages certain fish to live between it because there are certain small fish that has to camouflage, change their color to the color of the reef to get away from predators, other fish and if we don't have that we, won't ha we will not have those fish if the coral die, see, which is very beautiful in the reef. And it looks, it looks uh, like quite an expensive operation to run here. It is expensive, very expensive. You know, I do not have electricity here. So I have to use two gasoline pumps every morning for about three hours. I have PVC pipes across the reef, and when it's rough, those PVC pipes cheap out, and they're destroyed in a few months. So all of that is expensive. I pay a young man to help me here with the labor, because there's a lot for me alone to do. I do not get any benefits from governments or organizations as yet, I am hoping to, you know, and I want to carry on as long as I could to bring back the population of Hawksville again, to beautify the reef and to encourage people to come to our country. So where do you get your money for all this uh, operation? It is just from visitors come to the century you know, and, and we have a season which is the busy season is from Christmas to Easter after that is very very slow yeah